Hello there, this is Dimitris Christou and I'm back with another Blender video tutorial. Well, actually this is a quick tip, but I think you find it pretty interesting, especially if you're doing motion graphic stuff. Now what we're going to see today is how to make a plane built in the course of time properly by using the build modifier. Let's see. I'll hit shift A and add a plane. I'll move over to the object modifiers, click add modifier and I'll add the subdivision surface modifier. I'll bring the subdivisions of the subdivision surface modifier up to 5. And I'll also click simple because I don't want to distort the shape of the object, I just want more faces on it. So now if I hit the Z key and switch to wireframe mode you can see that the plane uh, has the same shape but more faces on it. Okay. Now, if we want to build the plane in time, we must add a build modifier. Okay. I'll also need a timeline right here. Okay. Split timeline. Okay. Now, if I hit play, you can see that we are having the plane with more faces on it, built in time, but it doesn't look all that good. Let's also set the end frame to 100 okay and let's hit play again it starts over here then moves right here and here and here and that's why in my previous video tutorial about making some image transitions i use the randomize setting for the plane so that we're getting a nice little pattern okay now let's see how we can solve this I'll delete the subsurf modifier and let's also uncheck the visibility of the build modifier for a while. And in order to solve that problem, all we have to do is tell Blender how we actually want our planes to be distributed along the surface. Now I'll hit the tab key, let's make this one smaller, I hit S, scale it down. I'm scaling it down to 0 0.1, okay. What I'll do now is hit the tab key, I'll add an array. The array is, will be put above the build modifier because we want the build modifier to work on the entire array. And I'll increase the count, let's set it up to 10. Okay. I'll add another array. Move it up above the build modifier. I'll now use a relative offset of 1 for the y-axis and set the relative offset for the x-axis to 0. I'll also increase the count. Let's set this one just for the sake of everything looking properly and OK. I've set the y offset to minus 1 and I'll increase the count. Let's set it up to 10 as well. Now what we're doing here is that we're telling Blender that this is the first plane, sort of speak, this is the first face that it needs to work on, and it moves right here, and then it moves down. Let's now see how the build works on this one. Let's first enable visibility for the build modifier, uncheck randomize, move back to frame 1 and hit play. And now, as you can see, the build modifier works properly on our surface, works exactly how we want it to be, and with the help of the arrays, we can tell Blender exactly what faces we want to appear as the build modifier works on our uh, surface, on our object. So this is it. I think this is a specially nice little tip for those working on motion graphics, and this is a very simple solution. So this is Dimitris Christou and thanks for watching.